Friday morning. Took the day off work again today. This video is probably gonna be a little different. We're gonna kind of wing this one today. I'm heading back to the house. My buddy Andrew's coming over to pick me up. I think he's gonna buy a new side-by-side -side today. So we're gonna go check that side-by-side -side out and then I'm sure we'll end up in some gun stores. Probably gonna be down around the Columbus area today, I assume. So we're just gonna kind of wing it and see where this one goes today.
Saturday morning. We only ended up going to Cabela's yesterday. There wasn't really any other gun stores in Columbus that I wanted to go to. Today, though, we're going to go to the Sportsman's Den, Shelby again. We'll pick up some primers, see what else they got. On the way back from there, I need to stop at the range and film a video if this rain stops. Something that I picked up yesterday I'm kind of excited to do a test on. Then on the way home from the range, I'm going to hit the Rural King. We'll go in there and see what they got. So that's what's on the agenda today. So let's head to the den. out of the den I didn't do a whole lot of filming in there they uh, they were pretty busy nothing's really changed pretty much all the same stuff in there that we've seen over the last few weeks I've been going in there they had a couple different things but it was still a successful trip I got primers I picked up a few other things I'll show you when we get to the house so I was happy I made the drive over so let's head to Rural King, and then we'll go home and see what all we got. King. They were packed. It was hard to film anything in there. I got a little bit of footage in there, not a whole lot. They had quite a bit of stuff. They had some new stuff I hadn't seen in there in a long time. They had a Gila 22 Super Extra. And I want to say they were 400 round bulk packs. I did pick up one of those. And they also had Arms Corps, 100 round packs, 40 Smith & Wesson for $49.99. I hadn't seen those in there in I don't know how long. I'm assuming 50 cents around for 40 right now probably isn't too awfully terrible. I don't have a 40, I don't shoot 40, but they had quite a bit of it in there. So I picked up a few things in there. Let's head to the house, see everything we got. All right, we're back at the bench. 
Let's start with everything I got at Cabela's. The first thing I got was a box of uh, 124 grain Barry's bullets, nine millimeter, thousand of these for $119.99. Box of Aguila, 22 super extras. These were $6.99 a box. I grabbed two of these. Picked up two boxes of Winchester rifled slugs. Five of those. Those are $4.99 a box. And the last thing I got there, I picked up a box of these streaks. I've been wanting to try these out. These are 9 millimeter, 115 grain. These were uh, $14.99 a box for 20 These are actually going to be the next video on the channel. I'll take these out and test them. That was everything at Cabela's. All right. Now we'll start out with everything I got at the Sportsman's Den. I got a pound of uh, CFE pistol powder. And that was $39.99 a pound. Picked up three boxes. CCI mini mag. These are the 36 grain varmint hollow points. Three of those. And those were $12.99 a box. Next thing is... Got some Tula 76239. Ended up with five boxes of this. And those were $8.99 a box. And I picked up three trays, Federal small rifle primers. And those were $6.99 a tray. All right, now for the stuff I picked up at the Rural King. Picked up two boxes, Wolf 76239. And those were $9.99 a box. And I picked up the Aguila 22 Super Extras. 250 rounds in this pack. And those were $16.99 for a box. Alright, that's everything I got this week on the Ammo Hunt. Like I said, as far as the channel goes, I'm hoping the weather's going to cooperate. I want to get out and get these tested. I think these are going to be kind of fun. I hope. Could be a bust. Who knows? Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.